cupboards perform an essential role in these chemistry labs in protecting staff and students from exposure to hazardous chemicals. The problem with the old design, they were very energy inefficient. The system had to run 24 hours a day because the storage that's beneath the fume cupboards needed to be constantly ventilated. The airflow in the room was imbalanced. Um, there wasn't enough air coming into the room to compensate for the amount that was being extracted from the room. This affected temperatures. It was very, very cold in the building. It was around about 12 degrees in the winter. This wasn't very good for the students. It caused imbalances between individual fume cupboards and each individual fume cupboard cost around £3,000 a year to run. Basically, it was pulling all the hot air out of the building and discharging it to the outside world, which isn't very environmentally friendly. We recognised uh, for a long while that fume cupboards are very energy intensive, but clearly needed to make sure that we designed a system that you know, maintain the um, health and safety aspects of the fume cupboards, which is their essential role. The new cupboards really address these issues through a range of measures. Firstly, through redesigning of the way that the storage is ventilated, so that we're now able to turn off the vast majority of the fume cupboards out of hours. Secondly, we've installed a variable air volume system, which means that when we turn cupboards off, the ventilation in the cupboards and the makeup air that comes into the labs is regulated down accordingly. There is a link now between the extract and the amount of air coming into the room. So as we open up the fume cupboards and more air is being sucked through, it's compensated for by more air being pushed in. When the sash was closed, this then would reduce the volume of flow into the building by a vast amount. We would then be able to reduce our heating costs due to the lower volume of air. Finally, we installed motion sensors on the front of the cupboards, which set off an alarm if the sash is left open for a period of time, just to remind users to close the sash windows. If we close the sash, we save energy. On top of that, we installed new high-efficiency fans on the ventilation system, which save about a third of the energy compared to previously. As part of our Go Green Week, we ran a competition to design a interactive energy display to go into the labs alongside the work that we're doing. The interactive display is used to indicate to the students how we are actually saving money. As we open up the fume cupboards, it moves across the periodic table and lights up each column, so therefore it shows the distribution of energy that is being used. So at the moment, I think it's running on about one or two columns because we have all the fume cupboards closed. As we open it up, we will light up the entire periodic table. It encourages them to keep their sashes closed, it reduces our heating input into the building, it reduces our electricity input to the fan units and it generally makes it more comfortable for our students to work in. From a teaching side it gives us the safe knowledge that the students that we are teaching are working in an environment that is suitable for them to work in. It gives them reassurance that the fume cupboards are working efficiently, that they are being protected um, from whatever they are handling. It extracts it away and we can then show them good working practice. The project has been really important to us uh, in terms of the amount of energy that it's saved. We're saving around £90,000 a year and that is leading on to an statewide review of all of our fume cupboards um, and is also an essential contribution to our ongoing carbon reduction targets.